Good morning everyone, welcome to Hang Global. My name is Johnson Lai, I'm the Overseas Sales Director of Hang Global. Today we're going to show you the demonstration on our Lab Start 330 machine. We're going to divide the demonstration into three different parts. First of all, we're going to show you the full, full function of the machine. Secondly, we're going to show you the special features we have on the machine. And thirdly, we're going to do a demonstration test for you. With the demonstration print, we're going to do three different, three different types of material. One is the paper substrate on fingerprint printing. Secondly, we're going to do a clear on clear film printing. And also thirdly, we're going to do a silver printing material. Now, this is the M1 unit we have on the machine. With this M1 unit, we can fit up to 850 millimeter diameter on the press. Now, as you can see, with this um, M1 unit, we also have a fog lifting device on the press. So you don't have to ever lift, lift your paper roller to fit into the machine. With all our press the customer can purchase, it comes together as a standard with Corona Treater, Web Guide, and also a dust cleaner down the bottom of the press. Now, as you can see from here, the frame itself is a really, really robust frame. The frame we use is a 35 millimeter uh, material. So this machine is a really, really robust machine and can be used for more than 20 years at least. With the machine we have in our demonstration room, we have white plus CMYK in 600 dpi. Let's take a look at the printing module. Now, as you can see, the printing module have been divided into two different parts, the white section and the color module. With the white section, after you do the uh, printing on the white, you will go through a pinning. And after the white, you will have the color module with two color per one pinning, and then two color per one pinning. Once we go through all the printing process, down the bottom, we will have a conventional UV with two rollers. So you can print on unsupported film as well. Now the printing module is at the home position at the moment. Whereas the cargo is moving to the back of the station, we will have a capping device capping the, capping the print head itself onto position. And after that, we're going to introduce compressed air to fully clean all the nozzles out from the um, ink residues. And after that, the capping is going to move outwards and we'll have a doctor blade at the tip of the, of the capping device. When the printing module is move, moving forward, it's, we're going to evenly wipe the print head clean and also we'll introduce the uh, doctor blade residue, cleaning residue onto the doctor blade so to make sure all the doctor blade is all clean. And then your machine is ready for print again. In 2020, we started our cooperation with CSG. Now, because our machine at the moment, we have only CMYK and white, but with the software of CSG having, which can improve our color gamut by up to 80% on only CMYK. With CSG um, software, we can also do color matching from the customer's conventional printing process, like Flexo, Letterpress, or Offset. We can also do coordinated matching colors on, from our digital press to the conventional press you're having now. As you can see here, this is the operation part of the press. Now from here, you can see each ink tank, the temperature has to be preheated and the temperature has to be very, fairly carefully controlled before the ink is pumping into the printhead itself. And also from here, you can see the tension control over here. We have to control the web path to have a perfect tension so that we can have a perfect print. Now, as you can see here, this is the job order form we have on here. Now, from here, you can see if we have a few jobs lining up, you can see actually which form is going first, which form is going second. And from here, this is where all the, all the um, job is printing. And here, over this side, you can see the preview of the job. And then over here, you can also um, get some spacing done. On the, on the printer label as well. And over here, this is how many pages you need to print. Another special feature on our machine is with a hybrid function. As you can see from our demo machine, 
we have in already included a uh, flexor unit onto it, uh, which is fully developed by us. Now, with this flexor unit, you can have a multifunction purposes. As you can see here, we have the cold foil unit here. The cold foil unit, we can do cold foil after print for more color gamut or metallized um, look on the print itself. Or for some special material, maybe you will need some um, undercoat. Um, you can also do that. As you can see here, this unit itself is a separate unit. So the customer can have an option to expand the press to be a full multifunctional press. This module here itself, you can put one or two uh, flexor units on. The other development we have with Hang Global is also the converting unit, which can be put online together with the machine. The converting unit includes lamination, semi-rotary die cut, matrix remove, slitting, and all in one. So this machine can be expandable to the platform which you might be needing in the future. And also, this is also all the, all the options available is upgraded on site. So the customers can buy a standalone machine first, and then in the future, they can also expand to a more complicated uh, platform on the machine. With the second upgrade function we have on the press is we can also upgrade the color printing module. For example, the white section here, at the moment 600 dpi white section will have the Kurosawa print head for, six, for, for the white. And what we can do is we can introduce another print head in the roll form on the printing module to make it on the 1200 dpi resolution, a double white which we can print a more solid color on clear and clear. If the customer needs a lot more solid white, we can also upgrade onto a double white. Also the same with the color module. What we can do is we can introduce what we call a binary stitching process on the color module. We can also upgrade the resolution of the print head from 600 dpi to 1200 dpi with four colors. With our feature of introducing the binary printing process into our press, we're not just focusing on bumping up the resolution to 1200 dpi, but we're more focusing into the productivity and consistency of the print itself. Now, as we all know, with the drawback of UV inkjet, sometimes when you do a lot of prints, you can see the scattered lines on the print. Now, the scattered lines comes into two different ways. One is the total blockage of the nozzle itself. Now, when this case happens, you need to stop the machine and then we will need to do the cleaning of the print head. With the machine we have, we will have also an automatic cleaning functions on the machine. Secondly, what happens is the nozzle itself is not fully blocked, but it's semi-blocked on the press. Now, when the nozzle is semi-blocked, the ink itself is not dropping directly onto the substrate, but it's going to be shoot. This is what we call a defective nozzles. Now, when we introduce the binary printing process onto our print, what we can do is, because once we introduce the binary printing process into the print, we are printing at alternate dot formations. With this, we have three different advantages on the, on, the, on the press. First of all, as we all know, print head is quite expensive in the, in the machine. Now, when we do alternate dot formations, because the workload is sharing between the two print heads, we can further extend the life cycle of the print head by at least 30%. The advantage, advantage number two. Advantage number two is when we are introducing the two binary printing process, there will be less chance of defective nozzles of mis or misshooting happening from two different print heads. Advantage number three. Now, even when one print head is misshooting, because we are doing alternate dot formations, the other side of the dot is actually going to cover the layers of where the misshooting is going to be, and it's going to make a more smoother print surface. So, from the outlook of the print, you can further eliminate the scoring effect on the print itself. Now the machine is printing at this moment. Uh, with this machine, with this print test, we are performing with 
600 dpi at 50 meters per minute. With 1200 dpi, we can also perform 50 meters per minute without any problem at all. This is a paper material, so it doesn't have white and it's very easy and very nice. We're going to have a look at the sample a little bit later on. Now, as you can see, the printing job is running at constant speed, very nicely, with a short run job. This is a perfect, this is a perfect machine for customers. It completes our demonstration for today. If you need any information on our innovations, please contact us direct or local representative. We will be helping you as soon as we can. See you at the next label show.